Hey everybody, it's the Crafty Librarian here, and today I'm going to show you how to age paper. First thing you're going to need is paper. So I've got a couple kinds here, and I'll show you how uh, each of them take the dye differently. One is regular computer paper, and the other is a thicker uh, cardstock. You're going to need a baking dish, or a rimmed cookie sheet in order to dye your stuff. An old towel, tea does stain, so just keep that in mind. And some kind of cookie sheet, because you are going to be putting these in the oven. So what you're going to do first, you're going to take your baking dish and you're going to make about two cups of black tea. Now this is two cups, um, two tea bags. It's up to you how long you want it to steep. The longer you steep the tea, the darker the stain. So if you want just a slight coloring, you can only do a few minutes. This I left for about 20, okay? Take that in, let it cool a little, you don't wanna burn yourself, and pour some in the container. You can put the other off to the side. And now you're gonna take your paper. So there's a couple of ways that you can do this other than dyeing. First way is very, very difficult. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to show you it a couple times. You take your paper and do that. That's it. So once you crumple it, you're just gonna pull it out, straighten it up a bit, and that's it really simple, really easy trick, and you can decide how much you want to crumple. If you want to just crumple the edges, you can do that. Uh, if you want to do the whole thing, do the whole thing. The second trick that I like when it comes to aging paper is you're going to tear it at the edge. So all you have to do is you're going to take a little bit at the edge and just go through and rip the whole thing. I mean, it's up to you how much you want to do. If you only want just a little bit and you're worried that you're gonna to take too much, what you can do is take a ruler, mark off how deep you want the tears to be, and then just go along the line. And I think that gives this a much more interesting appearance. And there's nothing to say that you can't combine these. Trim uh, along the edges and then crumple up afterwards for more texture. You can do that. Now there is a third thing you can do before you dye. I had difficulty with this, but you can give it a go. Just please, please be careful. If you take a lighter with the flame very, very low, do not go right up to the paper, go underneath and you can singe off the edges or even in the middle. Like I said, just please, please be careful. Do it over a sink where you have water in case, it, you know, it does catch fire. We're not gonna be showing you that on camera, but if you wanna try that on your own, like I said, just be safe. So once you have your paper either crumpled or trimmed to your satisfaction, all you need to do is you're going to dunk it in the tea. I'd like to flip it over. And then just make sure you kind of have it as submerged as you can. Uh, there's another trick that you could do. If you have instant coffee grounds, um, sprinkle some in the water or sprinkle some in the tea and it will leave darker marks on your paper. That's also nice. Um, 
If you do that, I might change the T in between because I don't, not 100% sure how it will affect other paper that you dip into it. But you can give it a try. So once your paper is in here, you're going to let it soak. And how long depends on what colors you want your paper to turn. You can do this in several steps as well. If it comes out, you don't like how it looks or you want it to be darker, you can put it in. So just keep in mind, you can always make it darker, but you can't make it lighter. Um, let me show you some of the ones that I had that I've done some testing on. So I went through and did two types of paper at several time. So this right here, well, this is, this is the, the frayed edge that I was telling you about. This one here is the thicker paper. This is the regular computer paper. These were both dyed, um, or these were both soaked for one minute. All right, and then keep in mind, sometimes the color does change from front to back. So if you're not 100% sure, flip it over, see if you like it, okay? These two here, were done for five minutes, okay? This is the thicker paper. This is the regular printer paper. And these also have been um, scrunched. So th these are those. Uh, let's see, the next interval I did was 10 minutes. Thicker paper on this side, computer paper on this side. So honestly, there's not very much of a difference, at least that I can see, between five minutes and 10 minutes. So I mean, th this is thick paper at 10 minutes, this is the thick paper at five minutes, and it kind of has the same color. Same thing with uh, the computer paper. So I did find that the thicker paper soaks up more tea. So you can keep that in mind. It also is a little more durable. If you want the thinner paper, you just might have to soak it, dry it, and soak it again. And this last one here, I did 20 minutes. This is the thicker paper, but you have to be very careful because as I was, I was doing it, you know, there's a hole in it. I mean, if that's what you want and you want that to be your age, you can certainly do that. If you want to put tears in your paper whoops, at any time, I would do it while it's in the tea um, soaking up. But those are the color differences that you can expect. So our, our paper's been soaking for a few minutes. And like I said uh, before, if you want to do any tears, this is when you should do it. So just go in and, you know, make any cuts or tears that you want. Do you have to? Absolutely not. It's totally up to you. Depends on what kind of a look you're going for. So once you are ready and it's reached your soaking time, like I said, if you want kind of a dark, I'd go for about at least five minutes. I didn't see really much of a color change between the five, 10 and 20 minutes for the thicker paper or the thinner paper. And like I said, the, the regular computer paper is not going to get as dark. So if you want something really dark, I would go for a thicker paper. If you want something lighter, the computer paper should be fine. Okay, but once you're ready, you're gonna move your thing over here bring out your towel and then just be careful. The longer you soak it, the more delicate the paper is going to be. I like to do a little drip dry and then I plop it down on the towel just really quick. This kind of will soak up a little bit of excess. You don't wanna like wipe it clean because if you do, you're losing your stain. So we're gonna kind of bake it in. So what you'll do now is you'll set your oven to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? 
you get your sheet pan. Very careful again. Plop your paper right down on the sheet pan. And then just be careful because sometimes, you know, if it, if, if it folds over, it will stick to itself. It is, it is very damp. And then all you have to do is pop it in the oven for five minutes. Just keep an eye on it. It will be slightly damp when you take it out of the oven. Obviously the thicker paper will be a little damper. So I wouldn't write on it right away. This is just to get off most of the liquid. Let it dry fully overnight. I'd put it on a towel, keep it out of, out of, out of everyone's way, and then just let it sit overnight. And the next day you will have aged paper to do whatever on. Uh, these are great for scrapbooking. Feel free, cut the paper down to different sizes. It's great for school projects. If you're doing something like history related and you want to jazz it up a bit, um, it's good for making maps. It's good for giving a slightly aged appearance to poetry, whatever you want to do. Just let it dry completely before you start to, start to write on it. I wouldn't put these through a printer. Depending on if you're tearing it or crumpling it or, you know, trimming off the sides, it might get stuck and I would really hate for your printer to jam. So I would leave this to like handwritten projects. But I've been the Crafty Librarian and I hope you enjoy making your aged paper. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.